Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wondered, how can I possibly use those elbow strikes that I see in the Wing Chun forms? Today I'm gonna to teach you three different ways on how you can use the Guai Zhang elbow, the one that we find in the beginning of our Bu Ji form. I'm gonna show you how to use it against someone approaching you with the right hand from the outside, from the inside, and also from a left hook. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Here you will find Wing Chun related content, like how-to, tutorials, demos, and even my Wing Chun by Design podcast. So you may wanna consider subscribing, that way you can keep up to date with all the content that I upload on a weekly basis. So guys, let us not waste time, let's get started. Okay guys, things that you need to know. Number one, the elbow carries a lot of weight and a lot of power. Just look at it this way. The closer the joint to your center, the stronger it is. That's why whenever you see construction workers carrying bags of cement, they usually carry it on their shoulders. If you're carrying, say, a baby, if you're a parent, you know what I'm talking about. If you're carrying a baby for extended periods of time, you hold them close to your elbow, like this, close to your center. You never hold something heavy on your hands like that. So the elbow can take a lot of punishment and it's a very hard joint. So if you strike with the elbow, you have guaranteed the possibility of really hitting hard much stronger than the punch. So that's one of the main benefits of using the elbow. Now the drawback of using the elbow is of course distance because I can reach the target a lot easier with my hand than with my elbow. So I really need to make sure I'm at the right distance for me to be able to use that elbow. In other forms of martial arts, you can even see them jump into the strike with an elbow. Like in Muay Thai, you'll see them jump and then strike with the elbow in many other different ways. But the Wing Chun way is we want to use it in close proximity. So the way I'm going to show you today on how to use the elbow is as follow-ups, right? There are many different ways of using it. There are different elbow techniques all together in the Wing Chun system, but today I'm keeping it nice and simple. Basic Guai Zhang follow-ups, okay? So let's get started with number one. Okay guys, so scenario number one, I'll have Brendan feed me a jab. Now as you can see, Brendan is quite tall. When you approach these techniques, as I said, you need to be in close proximity and make sure you use your horse, your stance to really drive your body weight and your stability right from underneath you so that way when you extend your arm for that elbow strike, it's solid. <coughs> All right guys, so sequence number two. This time, for whatever reason, you reacted and you went towards the inside of the opponent's arm. Okay, so now from here, I want you to redirect and then counterattack immediately with the same hand and follow up with the Guai Zhang. Okay guys, so now we've got the third scenario. On this one, I'll be covering from the inside against Brendan's left hook. <laughs> okay guys, so that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please click the like button, share it with a friend, and don't forget to check out some of my other videos. There's plenty of material there that you can use to improve your Wing Chun and take it to the next level. Guys, don't forget to also check out my online academy. It's umauniversity.com.au. I have a free introductory applied Wing Chun course that you can check out. So guys, having said that, thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.